Appreciate it. Yesterday, we told you about Celebrate Recovery, a motivational program based in Christianity, helping addicts of things like porn, drugs, and alcohol kick their habits. But it's not just for addicts. It's also working with their families who suffer alongside them. WVVA's Kristen Connors here now with part two of her series. Kristen. Greg, tonight in part two of my Celebrate Recovery series, we learn more about the Dillo family impacted by the program. They say Celebrate Recovery brought them back together. Jason and his wife Tara, along with their three children, have a wonderful life. But it wasn't always this way. Jason had originally sought help for pain and then became addicted to drugs. I you know, started seeing more and more doctors to, to get the prescriptions I needed and eventually, you know, buying, buying drugs illegally. I had tried many times to quit on my own. I had relapsed many times. All of this took a toll on his family life. I was very distant. Uh, I like to isolate my, myself a lot. Just no interaction at all with the kids, if you know, even to the point of not coming to church. But what he didn't realize at the time, his addiction to opiates and abuse of alcohol fueled other problems for his family. His wife Tara explains her struggle. I've had this mask on of trying to keep up that perfect household. That's almost wrong. We were, he's tired, he's worked all week, he's working hard, he teaches martial arts, you know, he's, he's just not going to make it. You live in a, a, a fog and you can, when you're, you're under that type of influence, you, you kind of learn to, I think, justify some of your behaviors. Their family was crumbling. Tara told me she just couldn't, you know, live this way anymore. Um, we decided that it was time to step out and get some help. Jason came to me um, in 2012 um, and said, Jim, I've got a problem. I've got an addiction issue that's bigger than me. Through their need, Tara and Jason were instrumental in bringing Celebrate Recovery, a faith-based motivational program to help people deal with hurts, habits, and hang-ups, to the church. Slowly, they began to notice it changing their lives for the better. I noticed that trust was coming back little at a time. And being more involved with the kids, helping go to the grocery store, helping cook supper, you know, being more involved with our family. But this program isn't just designed for addicts. Celebrate Recovery also helps their family members like Tara turn things around. And we begin to teach them how to make choices that aren't hurtful choices. I found out that, you know, I've got problems of my own. <laughs> it's not just all about, you know, what he's been going through. They all begin to work through forgiveness and healing. Even children and teenagers have lessons on the same topics, a true family affair, all hoping to one day get well together. We watched Jason and Tara work through those things, heal his addiction, we watched God do that, heal his marriage. How do you even put into words when you see God bring about a miracle in a, in a young man's life? God's word tells me I have to be the spiritual leader of our home. This couple now spreading the message to others. It does get better, and it can start right here. Of course, any person we filmed, we did film with permission. Celebrate Recovery meetings are Thursdays at 7 at the Johnson Chapel Baptist Church, and other nearby churches offer this program as well. A lot of you have been asking about it. For a group locator, visit our website. Back to you, Greg.